Welcome. My name is Peter Strong. I'm a professional psychotherapist specializing in mindfulness therapy, and I offer Skype counseling for anxiety and depression and addiction and uh, other common psychological problems that don't require medical treatment, but that can benefit from learning practical strategies for healing the underlying emotion and also for um, neutralizing those patterns of reactive thinking that feed your emotional suffering. Um, so if you'd like to talk to a therapist online for Skype counseling um, using mindfulness therapy, which is what I offer online, then please simply go to my website and then email me and we can schedule a uh, counseling session um, at a time that works for you. Most people really enjoy the mindfulness therapy approach that I offer during uh, the counseling sessions. Um, it's very practical, very focused, and it's really quite different than conventional counseling uh, or talk therapy where you're simply just talking about your emotions. Um, in the case of mindfulness therapy, we don't talk so much about our emotions, we spend more time looking at them. That is actually focusing consciously on the structure of your anxiety or depression. What makes it work? What are those reactive thoughts that feed the uh, anxiety or depression or addiction? What is actually going on? How can we change these habits that create your anxiety and depression. And that's an important factor right there. So in mindfulness psychology, we understand anxiety and depression and other common emotional problems like that as being habits. They are not strictly uh, a mental illness. They should not be classified in that way. Um, and medical treatment, although sometimes can be useful for reducing symptoms uh, is not an appropriate um, strategy for um, healing anxiety and depression. Medications may, may reduce symptoms for a while, but they will do nothing to change the underlying habit that creates your anxiety and depression. And that's what we focus on in mindfulness therapy. We look at the patterns of reactive thinking that feed your uh, anxiety or depression. We then look at breaking free from that uh, habit by establishing much more consciousness in relationship to those thoughts. You see, any habit requires that you are unconscious, that they operate unconsciously. Um, on autopilot, basically. And so the first teaching, if you like, that we really develop uh, in mindfulness therapy is learning how to bring consciousness back into the mind, to see these thoughts clearly. And the more you can see clearly these the reactive thoughts, the more that you can exercise some choice. You can begin to break free from those automatic reactive thoughts. You can see them and you can take action. Uh, the first action is to recognize clearly what is happening and then choose not to indulge that reactive thought um, and not to allow it to feed. So just the action of saying no to the thought becomes possible when you uh, develop more consciousness, when you develop more mindfulness. So that's a very important part of the uh, training, is just learning to see what's actually going on in the mind. Medications will not do that. Um, the second factor is to really examine 
how the emotion works. The emotion that is causing those thoughts. Uh, and that's a very important principle to understand. Um, thoughts do not create anxiety. They may feed the anxiety, but they do not cause it. And the same with depression. Thoughts do not create depression. They feed a, the depression. The depression or anxiety uh, are already there as emotional habits. Uh, the one analogy we find useful here is to think of a fire. So wood or coal does not cause fire, but it will feed a fire uh, one, as fuel. And the same with thoughts. So thoughts provide the fuel for our emotional pain. Um, but the underlying emotional pain itself um, has a deeper root and we have to work on changing the way that we relate to the emotions directly again using mindfulness we have to develop a very positive conscious and compassionate relationship with our emotional pain you have to learn to make friends with your anxiety you have to learn to be able to sit with your depression without becoming consumed by it. You have to learn to face your fear without becoming identified with that fear, without becoming afraid. And this is a training process. At first it's difficult, but with very focused training and practice, you will quite rapidly get to that place where you can sit with fear, with anxiety, with depression, with anger, with sadness, with grief, whatever it might be, without becoming identified with it, without becoming consumed by those emotional habits. That is the first essential part of, of uh, for changing it, the emotion itself, for helping it heal. You have to be able to stay conscious with it and not react. And then we start to explore how to help that emotion heal. Um, and there's a variety of different approaches we take to do that. Establishing that relationship based on consciousness, and friendliness, i.e. mindfulness, is a huge factor in promoting healing, as it would be between people. If you can be truly conscious and truly friendly and accepting towards a friend that might be going through a hard time, that relationship will help them uh, heal. So we have to learn to do this internally with our own emotions. And that's a big part of uh, mindfulness training. But there are lots of other things we do during uh, these uh, Skype counseling sessions. Uh, but th those are two of the key things, working with reactive thoughts and then working on establishing the right quality of relationship with your emotions that will help them heal. If you would like to learn more about, about Skype counseling, simply go to my website. And if you have any questions about whether mindfulness-based Skype counseling is the right uh, approach for you and your particular needs, then please contact me and ask your questions. Uh, this service is available worldwide. All you need is Skype and PayPal to make your secure online payments for sessions and then we can um, schedule a, a, a Skype counselling session um, at a time that works for the both of us. Um, so if you're interested in really getting on top of your anxiety or depression or addiction or any other 
form of emotional suffering without using drugs or other medical treatments that really do not address the root cause of your uh, emotional suffering, then please reach out to me and let's schedule a session. Thank you.